Hey, what's up guys? Me, Shandero Monomero, back again with another Les Talk or YouTube video thing. I don't know. I'm I'm calling this Les Talk, because why not? It's been a little while. I don't know. I have something on the mind. I'm thinking about Yakuza. Uh, I got into this about 2020, so I don't know. I, I just guess I want to give like a brief overview, kind of get it off my mind. I've had like another video idea in the works, but I kind of want to see like, <laughs> I, don't know, I, I just need to get this out of the way, because this is always on my mind pretty much just like random stuff like this anyways tier list i know it's I, I don't know how anybody else feels about these i like these usually i think it's pretty fun um as long as you know you're not using it like just exactly like a you know top 10 list um which i mean kind of roughly i will i think like near the left i'll usually like rate things i like a little more but um that's kind of how i'm doing it um yeah, I did put some things in, so pretty much uh, everything on the bottom row, I haven't played at all. Just have not. Um, yeah, I, I think the some of the ones I do want to play is the Black Panther games. I think that's what they're called. And then um, Kenzon. Would love those. Um, if there was an English version, I don't really feel like learning Japanese. Um, let's see. Uh, Dead Souls. Uh, I do want to try this out a lot. I don't have a PS3. I've been thinking about just borrowing a friend's. I'd have to buy another copy for myself. I, or, you know, through other means, maybe play it. I don't know. I'll figure that out eventually. I do want to get to it, even if I hear it's not great. Uh, I have no interest in Fist Lo North Star Lost Paradise. I know that's, I mean, I, I know that's weird to people who don't play the series, but um, it, it's in like the same engine, has like a bunch of the same voice actors, at least in Japanese for those who don't know, so it's weird. And then there's the online Japanese game. Uh, I think that's what it is. Anyways, uh, anyways, that's kind of out of the way. Um, let's start. I have everything here in the order I played. Um, everything right here is stuff I played, just different version. Um, so let's start with uh, Yakuza 0. I uh, loved it. S tier. Boom, baby. I, um, I kind of consider it like my top, what are my top five games I've ever played. Um, it was a big deal, at least for me. You know, I, I put it up there with like Sonic Mania and Halo Reach for me. Um, I don't know. It, it's, it is what got me in the series. Uh, it's it was surprising for me because I I didn't like stuff that was like only Japanese dub around that time. Like I think I watched tried watching like an anime or two in Japanese. I was like, you know, I hate this. And I, it was kind of the same with uh, way with Yakuza. It was just like a lot of cutscenes. And then I, I like put it down for a few months, and then I came back like months later and just breezed through it. Um, yeah, it's awesome. It's amazing. Uh, it has a great story. Uh, love the gameplay. I just think it's good. Um, I, <laughs> I, it might be the, in my opinion, it is my favorite game in the series. I have played it about twice now. Um, yeah, I have played it twice now. Um, really love it. Um, great game. Love it. Um, and then I go on to... Actually, do I have anything else to say? I don't know. I, I just really like it. I like it a lot. Um, I, I think that's the only reason I kind of sometimes in my mind like hesitate a little like recommending because I'm like, oh gosh, you know, if you start with Yakuza 0, you're going to start with Peak. It all goes downhill. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Everything here has like something I think it does like really great. And I, I think they're all worth playing. So I, I think even if I think it was the best, I think there's a lot of people who, like, they think Yakuza 5 is the best or Lost Judgment is the best. I don't know. That's what I noticed. Uh, Yakuza Kiwami. I, I haven't played it since I played it in... What year was it? I think it was... It's probably 2020, honestly. It's probably 2020 that I last played it. Um, I remember really liking it. Um, the combat was very nice even if it's a remake of a PS2 game. Um, I do want to play the original uh, Yakuza 1 and Yakuza 2. Um, I do want to get around to that eventually. Don't know how. Don't know when. I do kind of want to do do that. Um, I think it'd be fun. I don't know. I I just really like the combat in Yakuza Kiwami. I think the story's pretty good, too. Um, all that. Very good. <laughs> Very fun. That, th okay, so this one took me about 50 hours to play the first time, and that's I went for... Uh, what you call it? I I went for like kind of quest completion, at least with like the Majima stuff. That's kind of what I went for. I completed the Majima stuff. Um, it's pretty cool. I liked it. 
I maxed out all the skill trees. That was that was a lot of fun. Yakuza Zero. I only really did all the business mini game on my second playthrough, and that was really worth it. But Yakuza One, uh, pretty good. Like that one. Um, Yakuza Kiwami Two. I I will say it's B tier. It is definition of kind of B tier for me. Um, like it is good. I really like it. I man, I do have some issues with it. Um, I do like the story. Um, I don't think it's as strong as those other two. Um, and I think the performance is just still not great, at least on consoles. Like even on um the Xbox uh, Series S and X versions, it doesn't have a FPS boost like uh, Yakuza Six does. So it kind of suffers from that a little. It is. Definitely, like, one of the prettiest looking games in the series, I will say. I think it looks awesome. Um, at least, like, a high fidelity. I, I didn't like the Majima construction game. I thought the controls were awful. I just couldn't I just couldn't bear it. And, uh, I mean, Cabaret Club was cool. I never really got far in that, just because it was the same exact thing from Yakuza 0. Wasn't too interested. Um, still liked it. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's a pretty good game. Yakuza 3, okay, I know, <laughs> the trend here, <laughs> it goes downhill. Um, Yakuza 3, I, I didn't, like, hate completely. I do like Yakuza 3, kinda. Um, and honestly, it, it, it would seem, I mean, I guess it seems kind of fair, like, okay, the remake made in, what was it, like, 2017, 2018, or something like that, that would outclass this. Um, but even with the remaster of Yakuza 3, I I don't know. I I wasn't too not used to how it was. Um, like the the age of the game didn't really hit me. I guess. Um, I don't know. I I still I still enjoyed it. Kind of. It's just there's a lot of not great things in this. Like just some like a lot of the stuff with the in Okinawa with the kids where you have to chase them around and like annoying side quests I still like them I still like it it, it has the most disjointed story you could skip this game and get the plot of Yakuza 4 I probably wouldn't though I think it's still worth playing just for the goofy stuff um it is it is the beach episode of the series it is I still like it Okinawa is beautiful I love Okinawa it's so beautiful um Unfortunately, the, the town itself in here, because the 3 isn't great, um, but I, I do like it. Um, Yakuza 4, baby, I I remember really liking this. Um, I don't know how my opinion on it is, though. I I loved it when I first played it. Like, I, I put it in, like, A tier, like, after first playing it. I think I'll just put it here, just to be safe. Um, I don't know. I like it. I remember really liking it. It was... Pro it is probably the shortest, the one I've completed the fastest. Um, besides Gaiden now, but I, I completed this pretty fast, like doing some side content. Um, yeah, I I did enjoy it. Um, Kiryu's part was really fun. That's that's one thing I remember. I mean, all the characters were pretty cool. I think um, Tanamura was like pretty cool. It was hard to play. Akiyama is cool. Saijima is cool. I I think all I think all of the characters are pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it's, it's one of those games with a story that is just not amazing <laughs> or just like the twists are weird. Um, but I like it. I do like it. I, I think the gameplay is solid. Yakuza 5. Ooh, I think I'm like, hmm. I don't know. I'll, I'll put an A tier just to be safe because I do like it. Um, this is kind of where karaoke got great. This is like the first one where karaoke was like amazing, at least like in the chronological order of the series i guess like three and four even on the re-releases I, I didn't think it was um karaoke and that was like weird but this one is cool why am i talking about the karaoke i don't know um yeah this is a monster of a game there is a 10 hour part where i only played as Haruka, which is insane i still liked it side section didn't like it that much it was kind of grueling i i think my main problem with it is that the uh I believe the um, what you call it? a lot of the cities are pretty bland. I'd say just in general, all the cities are kind of bland, which kind of sucks. Like even Camarocho, which appears for like two seconds at the end, probably the worst version of it. Um, not to say I, I do like a bunch of the cities that are introduced. I think it's cool. Um, 
Yeah, I, I don't even... Oh, oh, and freaking uh, Shinada. Yes, Shinada. He's, like... He has the... He definitely is the best part of that game. I will say that. Um, he's just such a great story. Such an outlier in a weird game. I do like it, though. I, I like it. It has one of my favorite openings in the series. Like, not the not the one before you get to the title screen, but, like, the one after you press start game and a uh, little musical thing with Daigo and he flicks the cigarette and then the the title appears it's so awesome i love it um pretty cool it's it's something this is definitely like a turning point in the um in the lore um yakuza 6 i'm gonna put it like right there i do like yakuza 6 it was also something i, I beat pretty fast maybe slightly longer than yakuza 4 i just kind of going back and looking at other videos on this game and stuff um i i realized i missed a lot I I did not know there was a the fishing mini game. Did not know it was there, and I did not have any awareness of the existence of the baseball mini game. I did not know that existed at all until maybe a, like two or three months ago. I'm surprised I missed it. I did like the story a lot. I thought the story was really good. Um, even though I I I do like this, um, mainly for the story. Even if it's hard to remember the name, a lot of the characters, it's really good. I recommend it. It definitely isn't like the best game in the series, though. It does feel kind of, I don't know, like lackluster with content in comparison to Yakuza 0, especially for like a mainline numbered entry. Um, but I, I do like it. I like it a lot. Um, it's just nice. It's a very nice game. Uh, anyways, let's go back to Lego Dragon. Um, this is probably the first real big boy rpg i played um that wasn't pokemon or metopia um so i i love like a dragon i just beat it again recently so uh just like right before infinite wealth came out i i went through almost the entire thing actually a couple months ago i played the first 10 hours then i stopped playing and then i came back to this um uh, right before Infinite Wealth came out. I just kind of just breezed through it there. Um, I love this game. It's so good. Love it. Um, I guess, like, a few... I, I definitely have my, like, nitpicks with it. Like, oh, there's only two times a day. Um, there's definitely, like, a few balancing issues. And there's just... It is defined by its walls, I'd say. Because there's, there's a lot of parts in the game where you just get to something and you hit a wall and you have to find something else to do to get over it and it sucks i'm talking like you're under like the there's this one uh one of the crane fights was just insane for me to get to one second sorry i had a timer on my phone for some reason anyways um crane fight insane wow yeah I just I just remember having a lot of trouble with that fight, and then I just went back and I um, did an entire thing, and just went back to it, um, and just kicked its butt. So that was pretty cool, and I didn't realize you could get a follower like or like another um, another party member at that point. Um, I, I guess I do have like. I mean, I definitely do have some issues with Like a Dragon, because it is really good, but it has, like, a lot of issues, just mainly on the grind side. But even then, I still love it. I don't know, just Ichiban's awesome. He's such a cool character. Um, he isn't, like... He, he definitely isn't Kiryu, but um, he's cool. I love Ichiban. Um, that's what I gotta say about it. I, I'm sure I have, like, a lot more to say. Also, the turn base was also pretty good it was a lot less jarring than i thought it would be it still felt like a yakuza game um even though it wasn't uh live combat like the all the other ones it was it was really good um i definitely recommend it it is a good starting point uh for like new fans of the series kind of i mean i would still definitely recommend playing everything else before but if you just do not care or you just don't feel like it it might not be terrible, but I I would just go back and play all the other ones. I'm gonna be honest; they're all they're all really good. Even even Yakuza three and C tier. Um, there's still a lot of jokes you can make with that one, and just like a lot of characters from that you just don't get from the other ones. Anyways, maybe I'm blabbing on too much. Uh, let's go to let's go to Judgment. Ooh, so Judgment has my favorite Camarocho in the series. Uh, Camarocho is 
I don't know. It's awesome. I mean, you all know Camarocho. If you've played the games, it is, you know, the town that appears in every game. Um, I loved it the first time I played it. I loved it. It was awesome. Um, and I replayed it recently, kind of in two chunks. So I spent a month just playing most of it, and then another, like, few weeks, months down the line, just finishing up some of like the Dyson Cube and like the harder sub stories and stuff. Um I'm glad I eventually got around to like this is the first one where I got to the Amon fight. Um so I'm pretty proud of that. Um I do like Judgment. It is I like the I like the environment of Camarocho. I like um the idea of kind of so kind of like uniting Camarocho. Um, or at least the people in it. I, I think it's kind of cool that you can like kind of make those connections there, even if it's just through sub stories. It's really nice. Uh, Yagami's cool. Um, oh, also I will say for these, I did play an English dub. I think the English dub's pretty good for the most part. Um, I will say, uh, I know Like a Dragon definitely suffers from the same anime voice actor syndrome. Um, but I mean, these uh, the the protagonists are really good. Um, yeah, also, I learned Kaito uh, is voiced by Crispin Freeman, who also does Winston from Overwatch. So now every time I go back to playing Judgment, all I can imagine is, like, Winston. Um, but, you know, uh, Judgment's cool. Yagami is definitely not, like, one of my favorite protagonists. I do like him. Um, and I, I do like the... And I do like, like, the little theme that plays sometimes when he when he's, like, cracking the case or something. Like, that's nice, but uh, Yagami's definitely not one of my favorites i don't know it's something about him i don't think he's as charming he's cool he's cool i think he fits it and he does got that drip um just at the other ones anyways um if i play judgment okay now if we're talking about judgment the first time i played it i'd probably put it like below yakuza 3 or d but um i played it again last october absolutely loved it so yeah it's weird okay so i hate it the first time i played it um, maybe it was fatigue from playing nine other games in a row. It could have been that, um, or it just wasn't judgment because judge it doesn't have the same integrated. I don't know, like town feeling as judgment, but it is really good. I like it. The combat's a lot better. Let me just get started on that. The combat's a lot better. It's a lot more fluid. You start with the highest combo speed. That makes the game fun, and there's a lot of little upgrades you can get where you can carry little buffs from other styles um, through the style switching into other things. So it just it makes it very fluid. Um, it kind of gets like a little repetitive near the end, like of the game when you have almost all the abilities unlocked. But it's it's pretty cool. I kind of wish I turned off boxer style my second go because um, it kind of just made things a little cluttered, and I didn't really need it. I didn't really need it. Um, I think my biggest gripe, um, besides the story, was kind of weird. Uh, I did get around to beating the uh, the school stories my my second time around, and I'm I'm glad I did. Um, but yeah, it was it was just a lot uh, my first time, and now I kind of it is. There's just a lot of parts of the game that feel like kind of low low quality. And I remember, like, running through the school, like, a bajillion times back and forth. Like, no fast travel between classes was just awful. And there's this, like, awful, weird animation bug glitch thing where if you turn a corner on the stair real quick, it'll, um, Yagami will float and fall for a second. It is really weird. And it happens often. He doesn't, like, clip through anything. It's just he falls like he just jumped off a little ledge, um... But uh, yeah, also this game does, in terms of the story, I wish it just wasn't just Yagami. Um, if anything, this was, he just kind of like comes in, he steals Yokohama 99's like thing. And I'm like, okay, dude, just have them be playable. Like uh, bring, bring Sugiura back, and just playable. I think that would be awesome. Um, oh, the Kaito Files was really cool. I loved it my first time. Loved it a little less the second time, but I, 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 love, I love being able to play as Kaito. I think that's cool. And I think... A a judgment three. It could really benefit from having a like a multi protagonist system. I feel like, um, kind of in a weird way. But I I think like something like um, Grand Theft Auto Five, where you can just kind of like switch it on the fly sometimes. I think that would work really well for this. 
or for like a judgment three or even just like lost judgment i think that would be awesome instead of just having it by chapter um because i think when it's by chapter it's a little weird but I, I think if they just did it by story beat i think that would work perfectly um for this kind of game um i'm really excited for judgment three i don't know if it's gonna happen i hope it does I, don't, I, I guess I hear some things. People say, ah, oh, it might not happen. But who knows? Who knows? Um, Ishin, uh, I'm glad we got it because I thought this would never be translated. Um, also, let me just fix things a little. Uh, I thought it was okay. I Okay, here's the thing. It's awesome. Um, it's really cool. Love it. Love the, love the swords. The sword fighting is cool. It is literally just a Yakuza game with the combos, just with the sword. My big issue is that it is super duper grindy, and and not a, and like like a dragon was really grindy. You had to I, I sat for like ten hours in the friggin' business game one time, just just doing that. Um, granted, that was like just doing pretty much the entire thing, but um, Ishin, super grindy. Um, I think by the time I get it, I completed it. it was like by the time it was like eighty hours, which is maybe ninety hours. I don't know. It was about as long as zero for me. Um, I, it was, it's just crazy grindy. It is really fun. It's just a lot of grind. Um, I think the story's all right. It's, it's not, it's not perfect. Um, but I, I do like it. I do like it. The graphics are beautiful. There was a, a problem. I, I'm playing, I was playing it on Xbox Series S. There was a lot of popping on like close-ups and cutscenes. Like that is the major issue. Just a lot of popping. It really sucks. Um, yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it. Um, really good game, though. It was very nice. Um, the, the freaking Haruka farming game was just a lot, um, took a lot out of me. It was just a lot of menus, a lot of really annoying menus. Um, yeah. Okay, let's get back to Gaiden. Like a dragon Gaiden, the man who erased his name. I thought this was going to be awesome. It was just okay. Um, I, I'm going to play Yonk because it's three tier. Um. It's weird. I know this was, like, intentionally supposed to be, like, a smaller game, so maybe I'm, like, rating it to a little too low, but it it does, I don't know, the story feels weird, I guess. Um, I think it goes by a little too fast. Um, I did play it at launch, so it was only in Japanese, and I, I, I think it's actually really good in Japanese, and I think the English dub is kind of weird, because the, the lips just from what I've seen from a few scenes, the lips, I feel like, just don't sync up very well, but in this, I think it's good. Um, or I, th I think the the Jap I I played in Japanese. I enjoyed it. It didn't feel jarring even after coming off of the the other ones I played in English. But um, yeah, this was uh, this was good. I for the most part. Okay, why is it C tier? Why am I saying this? Um, one stupidly short. Two a weird weird grind. Just lots of parts of it felt missing. There was like a little part of a Jincho. It was like the 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 bottom part. Just they they slice that part off and you played that for like two seconds. Um, the the agent style there's no vibration in the controller. Um, the dragon style from uh from six and Kiwami two that is back and it feels it's probably the best version of it. Uh, I just love all the charge attacks that it has and just feels so powerful and the vib and there is actually vibration if you do it like that. Um, it's just weird. I don't know. It's a it's a weird game. Um, it just feels, I don't know, it's just, it's a weird game. I don't know how to quite describe it. I just felt a little empty. Like, I was kind of expecting more, I guess. Um, Sayonara Silent Light is like the peak karaoke song. It is so good. It's the crown jewel of this. Um, I just, I don't know, it's just something about this game. Just kind of itched me the wrong way. I think it, uh, it's cool seeing Sotenbori again, though. I, I love Sotenbori. Um, and then... Okay, here it is. New one. I beat this like a month ago. Um, like a little less than a month ago. Where do I put it? I'm going to put it at the top of it. Uh, I'm going to put it behind Last Judgment. Um, so, I really liked Like a Dragon <laughs> Infinite Wealth. It was awesome. I think it has my favorite first chapter in the series. So great. Love that. Um, it's really good. It's probably the longest one I played. It was almost 90 hours. Um, and I was doing like the, the Dundoko Island and 
um, pretty much the, the Sujimon, and I think there was, like, a, another third side activity I'm forgetting to mention, but I, I did, like, all the major side activities. It's pretty cool. Um, there's some issues. I don't think the story is super strong. There's just, like, I don't know. It's weird. Okay, because it's another game where just Kiryu is just depressed the whole time. You know, that's probably why I didn't like. It was kind of like rub the wrong way to Gaiden because he's just depressed the whole the whole game. And this one, he's depressed the whole game as well. It's really weird. It feels like they made this and they wrote this before Gaiden, so it doesn't really follow up on everything Gaiden did. Um, which is really weird to say, but I, I guess that's kind of how I feel about that. Um, it's really good. It is very beautiful. I think it is the most graphically beautiful. I think Hawaii is awesome. I think it's awesome to see Hawaii. Hawaii is so beautiful. I, I love I love tropical settings. Um, I don't know. Just I, I I like it. It's very pretty. Um, just story wasn't amazing. I think it could have definitely been better at a lot of points. I think that I think mainly the ending was kind of weak compared to a lot of the other endings in the series um still good still a lot of good moments i played the english dub um i know there's like a big old debate over over kiryu's new voice actor and i'm like i i'm not a he wasn't bad it's young yeah he, he is not bad and he definitely is good um because he was a uh, shirakaba in um the kaido files from last judgment he was really good in that here it's weird because he sounds like a hard-boiled detective more than a he doesn't have that legacy behind his voice i guess i don't still love him i'd, I'd love to like still get his autograph or like say hi to mg like wow you know you're cool because he does do a lot of things right and um he does a lot right uh, i think a few of the songs he sings are really good like bakimitai bakadaro um the uh the interjections on i think it's like the one i could have loved it are hilarious um with kiryu um, some of the other interjections, a lot of other songs are not good, but he does do a lot of scenes, like, amazing, I'm gonna be honest. I, I, I know I just kind of went against him. That's, like, the big, that's the big drama. Um, I don't know, I, I like a lot of the new characters, though. Um, I, I really like Tomizawa, I thought he was cool. Um, yeah, Chitose is pretty cool as well. She has a cool song, she has, like, one of the best songs. Okay, this game has the best karaoke lineup in the series, I will say that. Best karaoke lineup, no doubt. Um, I love that there's a little CD player, so you can play, like, little things in the background when you're wandering around. Um, it just has, like, a really low start. A really, really slow start. The The game just takes a long time to wind up. I feel like you can't really have the friggin' full thing just kind of unraveled. Or just feel like you can do almost everything until, I want to say, the, like, the, I think the second to last chapter is the, is where it was for me. Because you just don't you don't have a lot of party members in this one compared to um Yakuza like a dragon um just like throughout the entire game um and I think like a lot of a, a nice part of uh the original Yakuza 7 was just I don't know just having like a really big party and just kind of being able to like have your like B team and just have a nice assortment of people they kind of split the party in half for this one so you'll have like kiryu and ichiban with their own separate parties and sometimes it just most of the time it felt like kiryu had the bar better party like after that split happened um but i mean ichiban's still still cool um so the story's kind of confusing and and i've seen like a few scenes in both dubs and the english and the japanese dub is hilariously stupid and silly so there's a part of me that is that i'm glad that i did play the english dub so it just doesn't sound completely awful um i don't know i guess there's like a bunch of weird things because of language barriers and the dubs and whatnot but uh yeah, I don't know. Um, I liked it. Oh, the combat was really good. Uh, I definitely think it was a step up from Like a Dragon. I will say that. Um, I just... I don't know. I, I just don't... I, I do kind of... I'm tempted to... <laughs> I, don't, I, I hate kind of putting it below the last one. Because um, it, it did do a lot better. And I still think it is definitely worth... Like 110% worth playing. Um, after Like a Dragon. Um, it's just... Ugh, man. I don't know. Love that game. Uh shoot okay do i have anything else to say about that um oh yeah the, the dlc model sucks for this i bought the i will be honest i did buy the 20 dollar 
post-game DLC. I'm still playing through it. It's all right. I think it's good. I guess um, it's not worth twenty dollars. I it should have been free. It is a standard that should have been free in every other game. Like if you're gonna get it, uh, just get it on sale or like get a gift card or something. That's just I guess that's my biggest piece of advice. Get a gift card and just <laughs> buy it through that. Um, otherwise, it's it's a really good game. I I definitely recommend it. Um, very fun. Dondoko Island was pretty cool. It was definitely the most in-depth minigame in the series. Um, and I'm not usually the kind to play, like, super duper cozy games. I don't know, I just like seeing little people run around. That's my kind of game. I've been playing Ar Prison Architect lately. I like seeing little people run around in that. Um, you yeah, know, combat was fun. It just took a while things to wind up. It looked like, took me, like, 20 hours to get to, like, job switching. Like, freaking probably felt like 80 hours just to have all the party members on every team um things just keep switching around weirdly i don't know i like it there's a cool few boss fights and like i said the ending is like one of the weaker ones i feel like but it's really good it's still a good game i definitely recommend it if you like the series uh anyways i think that's where i'm gonna leave it off uh, maybe i've been rambling too much but um yeah i don't know i just kind of want to make this kind of warm up my voice and like my ideas for this whole youtube thing because i've been thinking about making that my big old comeback um that's kind of where i wanted to go i don't know if i rambled on too long um i started scripting a video like last week i want to say i'm just kind of chipping away at it when i feel like it um but yeah I'm, I'm i'm still really excited for what's next in the series um i just need something to like tide me over for the ending of this one <laughs> Uh, and I do really want to see a Judgment 3. Uh, maybe even cap it off at 3, just like make it a proper trilogy. I think that'd be cool. Um, and other things, I the the one game I haven't played that I want to get around to the most is probably Dead Souls, just because it's definitely the most within co my capacity, um, and it just seems silly. But um, yeah. Uh, anyways, that's kind of my opinion on the series. Kind of rough estimate, guesstimate. I think if I wrote down my ideas, maybe rehearse this, this would be a little more clear. But like I said, I just want to get this off my mind. It's just a random get this off my mind thing. Uh, yeah, anyways, thank you for listening. Um, definitely go play these games. I should put a spoiler. No, I, I didn't really spoil anything. But um, I don't know, I definitely recommend go playing these games. Don't let this be your guide to what is good and what is not. Because you could, you could think Judgment is the best top tier and to be honest that that would be fair because it is it is still a pretty good game um like you you are entitled to your own opinions i'm sure somebody would put this over here and then yakuza 4 is actually like awful terrible and then this is actually peak did you know that this is the best game yakuza 4 that's actually mid and this one uh right here um i don't even like this one i don't even like rpgs this one's even you know what? i'm gonna put these in the poopy tier poopy stupid video game tier uh yeah there you go okay anyways this is not my tier list but um if i was a hater this might be it um so yeah anyways uh thank you for watching thank you to everybody that stuck through i really appreciate it uh have a have a wonderful day or night or whenever you're watching this <laughs>